I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with a special friend who has a special mission. But let's start about Medjugorje. How did you hear about Medjugorje, Robert, and what did you think at the time when you heard about it? Um, I, I'll make this short because I did do this in another interview, but uh, it was my mother's face and she was big into Medjugorje. She went in about 1985 mm -hmm. and uh, she sent me to Medjugorje then in 1987. I had a strong um, shyness mm -hmm. and after three days in, in Medjugorje that shyness gone, gone completely. Um, for, I think it was Father Christy Byrne. I remember him bringing me up to. No, actually, it was, it was the it was a nun who was on the pilgrimage as well. At, in '87, she brought us up to Visca's house, mm -hmm. up the stairs, and uh, I think it could have been her granny who came out with these two rosary beads, which were uh, to have come from heaven. Uh, I, and that's just one strong memory. Uh, but the main thing was that shyness going, and then uh, it was just so easy to be yourself, you know. Uh, I was around 18 at the time, uh, so that was my that's that was my introduction to Medjugorje. When was that? Which, which year? 87, 1987. 87. Yeah, uh, yeah, and my mother was there. I'd say 85, and she has loads of photos from that year, those years. You, know. you were here in communist time. Uh, 1987, not far off, it, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So was it so? Diff was it very different from now? Oh, I mean. Uh, I mean, I mean, there was only one like restaurant. It wasn't a restaurant. It was like a place that sells burgers. Mm -hmm. uh, there was very, there was not none of what you see here, really. You know, mm -hmm. it was as nearly as it was in the photos you'd see back then. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so. Um, Where did you stay? Where the hotels? At the it time? was ho houses, 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 people, families, houses. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you'd be staying in their houses. You know. And, and if you compare to now, can you compare it somehow? Um, <coughs> we actually s right now this week we're staying in a family's house. Uh, Mirror, which is just outside Medjugorje, um, and that's fantastic. And well, that reminds me of being back at the house again, a family house, mm -hmm. you know, because it's a while since we were in a family house. Mm -hmm. So that was amazing. Yeah, that's for this week. Um, but I, I'll fast forward to this pilgrimage right now, which I have all my kids with me, mm -hmm. my wife, so all of us are here, mm -hmm. just worked out that way. Uh, so praise God. Um, but I think it was on the second day, uh, we were coming back from the Blue Cross, my wife and myself, Una, and I saw this man uh, with a, um, uh, a bandage on his left, right knee, sorry, his right knee. And uh, he was from uh, New York, he was in Split, and he felt called to come to Medjugorje for the day. Uh, but I stopped him, I said, are you in pain and discomfort? And he said, yeah, he's strong discomfort, uh, and it's there all the time, a four out of 10. And I, I said, I said, do you mind if I pray for you? Uh, and he says, yes, yes, yes. And uh, normally I have to tell a story to sort of break, you know, break the ice. And I went to tell a story. He says, no, you don't need to tell a story. I need prayer, <laughs> you know? He was really open. And so I said, okay, let's pray straight away. We prayed straight away. Uh, and my wife, Una, I think, I think she got heat in her body, either her, her knee or her back, but she knew something was happening. Uh, so after about two minutes, I asked him to just start testing it out and thank Jesus. He started testing it out and there was a bit of a shock on his face. He mm -hmm. knew something had happened. He says, that's really improved. I says, is there any hint of anything left? He says, it's maybe not even a two. Mm -hmm. And I says, okay, let me just pray that. And we prayed again, really quickly. He, he, and he started moving. I says, he doesn't feel that. It feels normal. So praise God. Um, yeah, and that uh, is your ministry. That is that. Yeah, and you love to do that. No, yeah, praying for absolutely, people. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, I think the scripture that came to me. No, I don't. I have to look at the scripture because it only came to me this morning. I just saw it. it was about salt and the saltiness of salt. And then I was thinking about when we receive the Eucharist that we come out of church. That Eucharist doesn't lose its saltiness. That I mean, that's Christ Jesus. So you've actually taken Christ Jesus into your body. It's not losing power when you walk through the doors of the church. And we're meant to be like living tabernacles, shining lights of Je like Jesus. That's what Our Lady said yes. yesterday in the message. Yes. Be joy, yes. be light, be peace. Yes, yeah. yes. And so, um, and I always go back to then, if we're to be like Jesus, we've got to be like those 70 who came back and Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit. And not only did he do that, he said, your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And so whatever those 70 were doing, 
you know, we got to make some effort to do that as well, yes. have it covered. You know, we've got all the perdition prayers, we've got that covered, but we need to do the commanding. You know, yeah, Jesus said, "I yeah. send you the Holy Spirit, and you can do more that I mm. could do with you." Yeah, yes. explain a bit. Absolutely. So uh, the simple prayer I said with that, uh, the American was simply pain come out in Jesus' name. Uh, and then I just give thanks to the Lord like the one leper who came back and just be in gratitude and then we had stillness for about 20 seconds we're just complete stillness realizing our nothingness that nothing's gonna happen here unless Jesus does it right now in front of us you know we're believing for that and so in that stillness you realize your nothingness and it has to be Jesus and it, it, it sort of keeps you humble as well you know so praise God uh, it was so encouraging for him to see him walking around, you know, and, and feeling much better. And then I'll move fast forward. Mm -hmm. It was an, uh, that same day as we're walking another five minutes down that pathway, uh, I saw someone limping. And then and it was, um, he was American, actually. And uh, they're still here today. Um, I think they're from Long Island. Uh, and I asked her whether she got a hip problem. But I think she had a back problem and hip and knee. Uh, problem I think it was and so and then I said do you mind if I pray for you and uh, she says yes yes she was well into it and then two others says I have pain and another person says I have pain I says look we pray for all of you uh, who have pain and so I got the other three people uh, just to open their hand to unite in faith uh, so we'd have unity one agreement and we prayed for the three them to be healed in that moment and uh, one man who had a lot of physio, he start walking around, he says, all my pain's gone. Praise God, you know, and he's with that American group. Uh, and then uh, another woman, um, the woman with the, the hip problem, her pain had reduced by down to about two out of 10, I think it was. Uh, and Una also felt heat, so she knew something was going on, um, uh, that the Lord was at work in her. And, uh, but there was great joy in the group you know and great openness there was no sense of um, fear close fear. no no it was openness and realizing of faith of yeah trust. no yeah or, or yeah they were believing jesus really is at work on this roadway right now he's That's doing the, something the, the, the meeting point we have yes. to believe that he can yes. work through yes. us because mm. it's not us healing it's no the holy spirit through us yes through yes us. and uh, and, and there was that still time again. We just went in that still, tr making sure, mm -hmm. you know, we realized we're nothing without God. And uh, and then there was a woman there who, who was with the, them. Uh, she had like um, <coughs> pain and discomfort across the chest area. Mm -hmm. And I said, Una, you pray for her. And so Una prayed and- uh, Una's your wife? Yeah, and Una prayed and- uh, Lovely wife. Yeah, huh? and the pain left uh, that woman's body. Mm -hmm. And she said, I still have the, the heaviness. And, uh, and uh, Una just mentioned to her, remember this in the Bible, not to deny your position, so cover both, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and we left it at that then. Um, I, oh yeah, and I, I would have told uh, the American earlier on, and them as well. Basically, everything that's happened to you right now, what you've experienced, that belongs to you. It's Jesus has just done it there now, mm -hmm. and to hold on to it, you know, any hint of a fiery dark coming, it's not Jesus. It's yeah. it's, it's the devil trying to rob you through doubt, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and also, even through that experience of those healings, the people experience, uh, should be repentance, getting right with God, yeah. because now you've just had a tangible experience to help you and to encourage you that I am real, Jesus is real, and he will, you know, he'll manifest his love and his presence to you. But we also need to get right with God. So if there's anyone we need to forgive, any, anyone we keep worrying about, that needs to be gone out of our lives. Worry is not from God. You have to know when mm. you have this worry source, this is not God. Mm. The battlefield is our mind. Mm. It's mm. God, it gives peace and joy. Somebody said, like yesterday, uh, Renium Christi, priest, he said, when it's from God, you take a decision, you have total peace. And mm. then you know it's from God. If it's agitation, mm. something is not right. Mm. You wait. You don't take decisions when you're agitated. Mm. Just in peace. And you're right. Then, you know, you made this tangible experience to get right with God in Magic Oils, the confessional of the world. What would you tell people? I mean, you are praying for people. You are living in the sacramental life of the Catholic Church. You do mm. confession. You go to Holy mm. Mass. You're in a state of grace. Then you can do this stuff. And mm -hmm. so, like somebody told me, a priest uh, the, only the priest can touch the the, yeah. the, the, the head of yeah, the person yeah. praying. We can we can pray for them. Yeah. And um, what is important about confession? Why confession? Why not to be scared to go to confession? What do you? What would you tell people? 
well, the, I mean, the main thing in general, if there's anything in your life that's contrary to the gospel, yeah. you know, you know, if you don't, if you're not there, mm -hmm. and you're you're not, you, you you know, you have to overcome a certain sin. Ask for the grace. It's the grace of God. None of us can do it without the grace of God. Yes. Especially those who've hurt us so much. You know, if there's abuse, any kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, sexual abuse, any kinds of abuse, physical abuse, physical abuse, psychological abuse, abuse yeah. uh, it's the grace of God. Amen. And the person, person anyone, anyone who's committed that kind of abuse, they actually need conversion. They need deliverance, conversion, conversion, and then for the salvation of their soul. Because mm -hmm. they're all God's children. Yes. But they're, some are under certain sins that just have power over them. Yeah through whatever, whether it be generational, whether it be through an experience that they had when they were young, God knows, okay, and he knows so how to life. set them free. Yeah. Mm. Um, and regarding, uh, you mentioned there about only a priest can pray. No, uh, they touch, the touch their, their heads. Head, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, or touch, uh, yeah. It, there's a, there is a few books mm -hmm. that are out that would say that, mm -hmm. but they would be contradictory towards the, the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I'm not qualified to even give a talk on that, but I know Dr. Mary Healy is, mm -hmm. and she says we can lay hands on the sick, mm -hmm. you know, as believers. Mm -hmm. Believers mm -hmm. can lay hands yeah. on Believers is everyone. Mm -hmm. And she would say the New Testament proves that, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so praise God, uh, and that's what we see. That's what mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, I'm here in Medjugorje, but only three days ago, uh, let me see, Thursday actually it was. Uh, there was a meeting going on in Limerick, mm -hmm. uh, in Ireland, mm -hmm. and there was wonderful miracles happened there. And I'd normally be there, mm -hmm. but I'm not there now. Mm -hmm. And the, the miracles are still happening. It's not about me. It's mm -hmm. it's about people who believe. And the Holy Spirit acting yeah. through us. Yeah, and, and the Holy Spirit just flow, allowing the Holy Spirit to flow through us, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I, I, yeah, and and then one more case, I'll tell this one more case yeah. of healing happened. Uh, I met this person near the Blue Cross, mm -hmm. and I just saw him limping. And, and I can't say he was healed, I don't know, because I, it looks like it, but I didn't need to talk to him again. Mm -hmm. But he, he was limping, and I thought it was his hip. Mm -hmm. And I went up to him and I said, have you got a hip problem? He says, no, no, my foot. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have much, too much English, enough English to tell me. Uh, and I said, what's wrong? Uh, he said a fish bit his uh, foot. And I was thinking, a fisherman maybe. And then I was thinking, he could have been swimming in the falls mm -hmm. and the fish bit, bit him there. Uh, so I said, do you mind if I pray you, pray for you one minute? And he understood one minute mm -hmm. and prayer to pray for him. And he was like, one minute? <laughs> <laughs> In expectance, he was mm -hmm. happy that I, I was saying one minute. Mm -hmm. uh, and I prayed for him. And, and in the background, I could hear uh, the group that I was with were actually watching mm -hmm. in silence, mm -hmm. wondering what's going to happen now. Mm -hmm. uh, and I could feel it. I could feel the silence. And I said, Lord, you better act. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was in my heart. Lord, I, uh, I'm going to look a right fool here now, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, That's written in the yeah. Bible, be fools for Christ. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, uh, and I could just sense it and feel it. And so uh, I prayed for him. I commanded the trauma, whatever happened, to be gone from the foot. Foot be healed in Jesus' holy name. And then I was still for about 20 seconds. And then I said, move your foot. Mm -hmm. And thank Jesus, I probably said, you know. Mm -hmm. I started moving his foot, and he looked up at me with a big smile, mm -hmm. threw his arms around me, gave me a big embrace in front of his group, mm -hmm. and he says, Tomorrow he will climb the mountain, Crucifix. Mm -hmm. The cross mountain, the, the cross big mountain. One. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. uh, and I still didn't know if he was in pain or had the pain left, but just from his face and the way he moved his foot. And from the act reaction, as I was walking away, there was great excitement in the group. Mm -hmm. I could hear it. Mm -hmm. You know, what happened, what happened, you know? And so, uh, praise God. Uh, but I see it all the time. I see mm -hmm. loads of people being healed. I see loads of people losing their healing as well. Mm -hmm. um, because they don't believe. You yeah, have to yeah. believe. Lack of gratitude. Mm -hmm. uh, That's also important, gratitude. Yeah, gratitude. Yeah. And there can be a I've seen this happen where it's a stinginess of heart, which is nearly mm -hmm. like the opposite of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Stinginess. Uh, it's very hard for people to who are because it's the love of money. Then mm -hmm. and it's very hard to for people like it, to receive healing if that's present in their lives. That needs to be gone yeah. out of your life, absolutely. Um, and anyone listening to this right now, I would love to lead you in prayer right now. This is live on video, and I'm going to lead you in prayer right now. 
and just follow my words, okay? Because you've just listened to testimony and the Lord is touching you right now and I believe more to happen right now and I believe you to be healed right now, those with pain, discomfort. If you have it in your body, just put your hand, shoulder, rotator cuff, uh, elbow, hip problem, blood, cancers, lumps. Put your hand close to that area and I'm believing for you to be healed right now, okay? So just simply say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I am precious to you. I am precious to you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, fill my whole body. Fill my whole body with your fire. With your fire. Bless me now, Lord Jesus. Bless me now, Lord Jesus. And into your hands, Lord Jesus. And into your hands, Lord Jesus. I surrender everyone. I surrender everyone who's hurt me directly who has hurt me directly or indirectly or indirectly embrace them in your love I'll say it again embrace them in embrace your love embrace them in your love set them free set them free bless them with deliverance bless them with deliverance with conversion with conversion with salvation with salvation this I pray this I pray in Jesus name in Jesus name Amen Amen Praise God so now your hearts are open all that junk is gone Jesus will carry the weight of all that you're not to carry any of that weight okay and just relax and allow the Lord to bless you and delight in how he pours into you some of you may feel a heat sensation tingling sensation or like electricity or a wind to go around you okay and just testify and give glory to God and just right now be still father god bless your children right now who are listening in expectation father god i ask you to set them free body mind and soul this i pray father god in jesus holy name amen amen and father god i ask you to heal them body mind and soul in jesus name amen amen come holy spirit come with a mighty fire upon their bodies right now come holy spirit come with a tornado wind all around their bodies right now Come, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Fire of God on you. <coughs> Fire of God on you right now in Jesus' name. More, Holy Spirit. Peace, peace, peace into your hearts right now in Jesus' name. More, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I command every bit of pain, discomfort, come out right now in Jesus' name. I can speak to the shoulders. Shoulders be loosened and free. Come out right now in Jesus' name. All pain, hips, knees, pain, come out right now in Jesus' name. I command the curvature of the spine to be aligned and perfect right now in Jesus name bones move 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 right now in Jesus name come Holy Spirit short legs grow out right now in Jesus name come Holy Spirit come Holy Spirit and I speak to any weakness in the heart I command that heart to be strengthened any blockages dissolve 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 right now in Jesus name and I command any brain functions and that are not right I command those brain functions to be normalized right now in Jesus name more Holy Spirit Loosen, 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 loosen the brain right now, completely right now in Jesus' name. More Holy Spirit. I speak to any cancer in anyone's body. I rebuke that cancer. I curse it. I bind it. I command that cancer come out completely in Jesus' name. Cancer be gone right now in Jesus' holy name. More Holy Spirit. And we'll be still for just one minute now in silence. God and what I want you to do now is check your bodies out move your shoulders in expectation as the lepers walked they were healed as the man stretched out his, his withered arm it became whole so check your joints check your hips check your knees any lumps check have they become spongy and soft because that, that I believe then it's dissolving okay and check that your pain discomfort is gone is gone and walk around the room or wherever you are walk around and thank jesus thank jesus and delight in the difference and more will come as you delight in what the lord's doing more will come especially over the next three days okay so i just want to thank everyone for listening and thank tom for recording me right now 
praise God, I'm hoping to bring Tom around now and for him to see a miracle in front of his eyes live in Medjugorje. Okay, so God bless to everyone. God bless you all. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Robert, for this, this, this prayer. I felt it's powerful. And this is like to show you there are different ministries in the Catholic Church. Check it out. You know, everybody has different gifts of the Holy Spirit. It's the time of the Holy Spirit. We are entering into, into the time of the Holy Spirit more and more and more. You can, when you're in the state of grace, following the Catholic Church, the teachings being like in, in the sacramental life of the Catholic Church, you will receive the gifts of the Spirit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And for our Protestant friends, you see, we have the gifts as well. We are scriptural so mm. and mm. we have tradition as well. Mm. It's no, nowhere written only scripture. It's written tradition and scripture. Mm. St. Paul says that. Mm. And it's totally Jewish. A lot of Protestants like the Jewish people. They have tradition and they have the Torah. They have mm. the oral Torah, which mm. is tradition. Mm. And, um, what can I say? Thank you for that beautiful interview. Praise God.